What common myth pisses you off? That bipolar means you are happy one minute and sad the next minute. It's a disorder, where you have episodes of depression and episodes of mania or hypomania. These episodes last weeks, months or years. There's nothing about emotional lability at all. That's an entirely different disorder. We only use 10% of our brain. Ah, yes, the logical thing to do, when you try to survive, is to evolve a bigger brain. Just to not use it. This is ADHD related, you can't have ADHD, you're so calm. Similarly, you can't have ADHD, you're so good at focusing on that thing you like doing. That mother birds will reject a baby, if you handle it, because they can smell, if you've touched it. While you should leave fledgling, small but feathery, birds alone unless there's immediate danger. Putting a naked little hat cling back in the nest, is totally fine. Birds don't really have a sense of smell. Help the poor bird, save the duckling, stuck in a grate, move the lost quail chick stuck in the road due to a high curb, they're gonna be fine. Elon Musk didn't found Tesla, he just gave its founders a lot of money, enough to become Tesla's chairman, and then push the founders out, even saw him referred to as Tesla's founder in an article about the potential Hertz deal the last couple of days, very early huge investor, yes, but not really a founder. That lie detector tests are accurate, there's a reason they aren't admissible in court, they are completely unreliable, even the creator made sure the public knew they weren't foolproof, people still take them at face value all the time, that irks me, cops know this too, it's just an interrogation tactic, if they are having trouble getting their suspect to confess, well, hook them up to a high tech machine that they don't understand and tell them it can tell when they are lying or not that may grease out a confession this method does work it cracked chris watts pretty well but i'm sure many innocent people have been coerced into false confessions or have had their reputations ruined because they failed a polygraph better dress warm if you get too cold you might catch the flu there have been many studies saying that it's not the temperature that makes us sick in the winter it's the fact that we are all inside breathing the same air. I've corrected people so many times and they just nod, say okay, and keep talking about it like everything I said didn't happen. Bulls are angered by the color red. I believe this nonsense is a child thanks to popular cartoons and never realized why people were so rightfully disgusted by bullfighting. That you can get a raise and wind up with a lower net income because of the tax brackets. That's not the way it works. That autistic people don't experience empathy. That one I don't see as often anymore. That porcupines shoot their quills out. I've known, educated, people who have set, live traps to catch nuisance raccoons near their chicken coop, only to catch a porcupine instead, and then shoot it, so it couldn't shoot the quills at them versus, letting the poor thing out, to freely walk away as it is harmless. Most survival myths, moss grows wherever has the best conditions. Animals can survive eating things that we can't. Not all civilization is downstream. Sometimes birds just go quiet. All weather is specific to certain locations. So sunset colors tell you nothing if you don't know local conditions. Most importantly, so much of the folksy bullsh is northern hemisphere only. Often American only you can't navigate with the north star when you're south of the equator and the sun is on your north side there too. That only stupid people get involved in cults or fundamentalist religion. Cults and fundamentalist religion works because they indoctrinate people and manipulate people's weaknesses. It's not purely about intelligence. Blood is blue when it's inside your body. That NASA spent millions to design a pen to work in zero gravity and that the Russians just brought a pencil. Heard heard are Americans so dumb. Graphite is electrically conductive and wood short circuits. For anyone wondering. Both the American and Soviet space programs originally used grease pencils as writing tools. An American company then invested about 1 million dollar USD into developing a ballpoint pen that would work in zero gravity, eventually getting a patent for such a pen in 1965. NASA adopted the space pen in 1967 and the Soviets did so as well in 1969. A person will never be aware that they are hallucinating. Sometimes, some folks. Some situations or causes point, but it's not one size fits all. 
you have to keep in touch with your family, even if they are toxic. Because they are family, nobody loves you like your mother or father. This can lead to trapping people in abusive and toxic relationships for years, because there is no societal or cultural support to escape or go no contact. It also leads to great mythical statements like yeah they may have done that, but they are your brother and you only get one brother, like someone else has said on here before. You only get one appendix, but if it goes bad you cut that sucker out. That the earth is flat. Scientists have already proven that it isn't flat, and if it was everything would be different. That someone with autism is some savant superhuman in one specific subject. This is portrayed a lot in media. Most characters inserted into stories who have autism turn out to be some genius mathematician or expert musician or some other sh. I think it perpetuates a really detrimental stigma towards the demographic. Expecting others to have some niche superpower has some sort of trade off, as though that person needs that magic quality to be a redeemable character. That we eat 7 spiders a year in our sleep. This one irks me so much. I'm 15 and had a full blown argument with this grown man. Whether it was true or not, I was called an argumentative piece of shawl it takes, is a quick google search. That if you uncoil human intestines and stretch them out they would wrap around the word 3.5x or something. I had an elementary school teacher teach this to my class and I remember back then thinking there's no way. I think it's supposed to be every strand of DNA in your body or something like that. The truth is actually that, if we took the DNA from all of those cells, and laid it out in a linear fashion, it could wrap around the earth 2.5 million times, or each to the sun and back 300 times. Weed's not bad for you, by all means, smoke it for you want, and I'm really not against people having a good time with it, but smoking shiz bad for you, agreed. I'm 100% for it be legalized and used recreationally, but stop telling me it's going to cure my depression, anxiety, pain, etc. And stop saying people can't be allergic to it, yes, they can. That moon landing was fake. That you need to go to college to get anywhere in life. Cracking knuckles causes arthritis, no it doesn't it's just annoying. That fast flowing water means it's good to drink. It isn't. It's a very good way to get sick. That sphinx cats the hairless ones will get stuck to a glass surface by their bums and need to be removed with a spatula. I've had three of the little darlings and not once has that issue come up even with them sitting on the glass coffee table. You'll definitely get rich and successful if you work hard enough. It implies that disadvantaged people are just lazy and ignores how social status and even basic luck play into one's achievements. Depression is caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain. OMG. Stap. As a therapist, it fills me with rage every time I hear this, because it's perpetuated by Big Pharma. In order to feed people pills, we don't know what causes depression. Pay attention next time you hear this commercial and count the times they use the word may. Depression may be caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain, and may help to correct this imbalance. You need the best, most expensive equipment to do well in your hobby or profession. No you fine don't. If you can't take a good photo with your phone you're not gonna get good with the most expensive camera and lens you can buy. That the everyday consumers should feel responsible for all the pollution. It's just a ploy to get people to buy their product because it's better for the environment which, don't get me wrong, can help in small ways but really has a marginal effect on the problem. Most of the pollution is the fault of factories and other industrial enterprises.